In this video, I'm going to teach you how to play Minecraft Java with friends on different Wi-Fi. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. If you and your friends want to play Minecraft together, but all of you are on different networks, you will not be able to use the Open to LAN option because this requires everyone to be on the same Wi-Fi or the same network. So in this video, I'm going to show you the alternatives that you have. You will need to set up a server so all of you can connect to the same server and play together. Now, the simplest and most direct way to do this is going to be by downloading the server jar file available on the Minecraft website and then hosting the server on your computer. But because this process can be complicated and a lot of people find difficulty in trying to do this, I'm going to show you an alternative method that is more user friendly. So the option is going to revolve around Eternos. Eternos essentially does the server hosting for you. The good thing about Eternos is that it's free. However, you will need to look through various advertisements as you can see all over the screen and you will usually have to wait in queue. You can get a server hosted for you if you pay a fee on other different services and websites and that way there will be no queue. But of course, since that is a paid solution, I decided to skip them. Choose whichever one is most comfortable for you and your friends. If you want to use Eternos, go to Eternos.org, sign up to use these services, and now you will be able to set up your server. The main things are going to be the software and the version. If you go over to software, you can change the server between vanilla and other options. So you have snapshot and then you have stuff like fabric, forge, if you want to set up different mod packs. Now, after you set up the software, choose the appropriate version, and then you can choose other options. You can manage the players, manage the software, and most importantly, change the map as well. You can just have this generate a random Minecraft map, or if you want to play a specific mode like Skyblock, you can upload the map here. You will be able to download this world file later, so you don't have to worry about being stuck on Eternals if you ever want to switch, or if you want to play offline. And all that you have to do after all of this is set up is to click the start server option here. Like I said, you will have to go through a queue and depending on the time of day, this queue will be long. So this is the downside of Eternals. But once this is done, you just have to copy this IP address displayed here, go back to Minecraft and then connect to the server. As long as the server is on, when you go through the queue, you will be able to connect and everyone will play Minecraft Java together, even if you are on different Wi-Fi networks. I hope I was able to help you on how to play Minecraft Java with friends on different Wi-Fi. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching!